Since COD Mobile has been globally released for over four years now, I decided it was a good time to rank the top 10 best SMGs of all time. And thanks to COD Mobile, this video is actually sponsored. You can check out the game at the top of the description down below. Based off this criteria, number 10 goes to the QXR. This was released alongside a Christmas skin and, well, a nice character, and stormed the scene. It could kill in a swift four shots and had a decent fire rate. However, it was never the be-all and end-all. It was the best SMG option for a period, but after a slight nerf, it kind of just faded off month after month. Similarly to the Mac 10, which is our first honorable mention, except this didn't fade off. This just vanished after the first season it was released because it got an extreme nerf. Does anyone remember running around the map sprinting almost as fast, if not faster, with the Mac 10 out than using your knife? Number nine was given to us around the similar era of the Mac. It's, of course, the Switchblade. This lasted a lot longer and has been considered the best SMG close range in at least one season. However, there's another one on this list that is just simply better, and my judgment was clouded simply because the Switchblade has been a newer weapon in the game. Funnily enough, our first two honorable mentions are both weapons that had a meteoric rise and then instantly flopped. We're talking, of course, about the KSP. This thing could cross map one burst, and well, it didn't even take a whole season for it to be nerfed entirely. I, for one, completely understand, but damn, those couple of weeks were insane. Very few weapons take over an entire title like this thing did. However, a weapon that has been around for many months and always been a casual's favorite choice is the Bison. This is actually the only casual heavy gun on this list, and it's simply because you don't need to be accurate, you don't need to have crazy movement, you don't even need to be that good to make it work. It's just an outstanding SMG, especially towards the mid-range. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm just completely biased because I nuked a world finalist with it. I nuked another world finalist! I nuked another world finalist! There is another one further down the list that is similar in all attributes, but just better than this, which is, of course, why it's number eight. Number seven, however, is the QQ9. If you weren't playing back in the day when this thing was meta, you were missing out. It felt so satisfying to destroy opponents with it. Nimble, agile, while also packing an extreme punch. I look back on the legendary skin and the QQ9 flood with fond memories, as it just reminds me of that 2020 goal golden era of ranked. Whereas number six reminds me of the first few seasons we got this game global. It's the MSMC. Now, I know what some of the new gen people are thinking while they watch this background gameplay. It looks like the gun kills extremely slow. We've got to keep this in mind. There's a thing called par creep in games, where essentially when a game first launches, everything is relatively normal. And as it progresses throughout the years, more and more things get buffed and made more powerful, which ultimately rises every gun up, leading us to the point where we are now in COD Mobile where everything just kills in like two bullets. This was meta back when it took five. And well, it could shoot five bullets in the fastest time out of any gun in the game. Of course, making it a menace. Also, does anyone remember this? They got a UAV, this sucks. Leave me alone. Oh, Deadly dying boys. He hit the guy, that alley. Oh, Reaper, he's dying. Oh, my OP. One more guy there. Left on left. No, 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 you're wondering where my shots were going. That was on the Indian server, and I live here. It wouldn't be a top SMG of all time list unless I mentioned the Finnick in the first month of its release. Not only was it insane with a good iron sight, you could also get a Mythic with an insane sight and run a Kimbo on it. Brother, if you didn't have COD Mobile downloaded back when this came out, you missed out on one of the craziest matters of all time. Pure spray and pray. Oh my god! which is the opposite to the Pharaoh, which is an honorable mention. This thing could one burst and it was extremely useful, super short range, but unfortunately its prime didn't last that long. And to be honest, anything outside of 10 meters and you probably weren't gonna win the gunfight. Hence why it's not an official top 10, but an honorable mention. Four is a submachine gun that I don't want anyone to comment on if you were not playing the beta of COD Mobile. In the era of lag, VPNs, and 150 MS minimum, 
the PDW ran supreme with its glorious hip fire accuracy. Back when I used to scrim against the best players in the world, this thing was all we used preparing for global launch. Don't let me do this to you. Oh no. So much so that it actually got nerfed before the game ever released. Because when COD Mobile went into the files, they could see that the PDW was getting used more than every other weapon in the game. However, number three had a better hip fire than it just a few months later being the Cordite. I still can't believe this got approved to be put into our apps and that COD Mobile blessed us with its experience. But damn, was this thing fun to use. Just before Gunsmith, they added it in, basically putting like 14 lasers onto an SMG without needing a laser attachment. And I was here for it. Loving it. Breathing it. Living it. But when it comes to big mag SMGs, I think there's only one in the category that stands above all. And that's, of course, the CBR. I don't even know how many months this thing reigned in ranked, but it was at least over an entire year. Anytime I went on, it was just constant CBR spam. However, you should subscribe right now because I think we can all agree that the best submachine gun of all time made everything else look weak by comparison. Close range annihilated, mid range dominated, and being able to cross map like an AR decimated. I even nuked multiple world finalists of the COD Mobile champs with this gun. It's the MX-9. What a beauty. Live with purpose.